to my channel, but before anything, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and add the bell if I'm notified when I upload. So as you see by the title and the thumbnail, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10, because I only actually have top 10 um, movies that I watch on Netflix or have watched on Netflix. So let's get started. So I have a list right here. I only have 10 because I rarely watch movies on Netflix. Honestly, I just watch shows. Shows are the main thing I do on Netflix. So, after each show I name, I'm gonna put a picture of it so you guys can see how it looks like somewhere on the screen. So, on the first one is After, which is the number one best movie I recommend. Is it like a love story? Because it's based on a fanfic. If you haven't read the fanfic, it's on Wattpad. I'll link the thing in the description. So number one is after. The little description that I have for it is entering her first semester of college, Tess is guarded, a world opens up. When she meets Hart and Scott, which is a bad boy, a mysterious and brooding rebel who makes her question all she thought she knew about herself and what she wants out of life. It's a good movie. The second one, okay, my cousin told me to watch it. My aunt did too. And um, it's a very sad, it's in another language. But it, you could put the subtitles on it. It's very sad and it will make you cry. And if you like, it's very, I don't know how to describe it, but I, if you watch it and if you like it, you like it. Because I know some people cannot watch stuff like that. So, it's Miracle in cell number seven. Which a little description is, inmates of at, at a Korean prison joined forces to protect a comrade and his young daughter who cannot bear to be separated for even a moment. I recommend watching it like it's very sad but it's very touching at the same time third one all the bright places i saw this on tiktok and they said not to watch it because it's very sad but i still ended up watching it because it caught my eye so the little description for that one is after meeting each other two people struggle with the emotional and physical scars of their past they discover that even the smallest moments can mean something so basically it's like there's a meaning to it and what I think after reading the description, which I have never read before, just got it all online, is that um, people need to enjoy the little moments. Even if something dramatic, drastic happens in your life, enjoy the little moments you have at the moment and don't like push those away, you know? So the fourth one is Freedom Riders. This is an old, old movie and I remember watching it in school, I don't know what grade. I wasn't, but it's a good movie. A dedicated teacher, Hilary Strank, in a racially divided Los Angeles school has a class at risk of at risk teenagers deemed incapable of learning. Instead of giving up, she inspires her students to take an interest in their education and planning their future. So basically, it's a school in Los Angeles, and most of the movies and series that I watch are basically based in Los Angeles and California area. And basically, in that school, there's like the Mexicans, the black people, the white people, the Asian people, the different like heritage, you know, not heritage, but like different um, ethnicities, you could say. It's very interesting and I recommend watching it. Number five, Outbreak. Outbreak is like same as Pandemic, but like, um, I haven't watched it, but like after reading the reviews and everything, and watching like a preview of it, I recommend watching it if you want to know more about the infectious disease we have in the world. When an infectious disease enters a small town via a monkey, a team of doctors races against the clock to stop the spread and find an antidote. So, same thing as pandemic, influenza, coronavirus, and all that stuff that goes on. The sixth one, the last summer. I remember watching this best movie awesome I'm more into like love story romantic stuff which I've noticed after looking at my thing so yeah high school graduates wrestle with love and fashion during their final summer together before heading off to college which I don't know yeah damn it swiped this is very interesting a popular college kid asks for help from his nerd friend to develop a flirting app and their brilliant idea to make money and make a profit by meeting new girls is a success. Dating apps. 
I mean, I thought it was interesting because, like, wow, someone knows so much about coding and stuff like that. And then making money off of it. Not a bad thing. My eighth one, the perfect date. This one. Okay. Here's a description for that one. A high school student creates an app to offer his services as a fake date to make money for college. When he develops feelings for someone, his plan gets complicated. Feelings get in the way of things. And it sucks. Ninth one. Miss Americana Taylor Swift. <laughs> to be straight out, I didn't really like Taylor Swift at first because I thought she was like, let's say annoying. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but like, I didn't really have like, she didn't get my eye a lot. Her music is good. Very good. But like, I don't know. After a while, like, I guess she wanted to be like, and this movie talks about it too. She wanted to be someone that she wasn't well she didn't want to but there were like basically people telling who she should be and stuff like that when in reality you shouldn't just change just because you want to people to just get attention yeah we, you know what i mean right so pop singer taylor Swift reveals intimate details of her life while showcasing backstage and onstage concert footage you we all think that we know a celebrity's um life like it's simple they have money they get anything you want no it's not true if you watch this and you you'll see what goes on in people's lives the last one is lol peep everybody's everything oh i asked little peep okay little peep it's a movie about how his life started and how it went on from there his death was very unsolved basically this intimate portrait is pecked depicts the rise of artist little peep whose genre bending music attracted a massive following and intimate defined his life people start off small and then they get from somewhere and that's what he did it shows you his struggles on how he became a sensational pop star so yeah that is all of my movies that i watched very interesting though if you watch them so if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and tap the notification bell if i'm notified when i upload and if you have any recommendation movies series for me make sure to comment down below in the comment section and i'll be sure to get back to you see you guys in the next video